Hello, friends and neighbors. Are you ready to sash your blocks? Okay, we're ready for week three of our Row by Row with AccuQuilt series. Now, if you don't have an AccuQuilt and you do your own cutting, today what we're going to need is two and a half inch strips. I made mine with my AccuQuilt cutter. I made quite a few, but I made mostly, I did six of these. Now, so what you need to figure out is what color you want to sash your stars with. Now, right now, our stars are pretty plain. They're just up there floating in space. And originally, I thought we would sash them in white so they would look floating. But I felt like I needed a little color. So we are going to sash them with a little color. So five, no, we have five stars. One strip will cut five posts. I want you to make four strips, cut three of them into eight and a half inch posts and cut the fourth one, just cut one post off of it because that's what you'll need. You'll need 16, eight and a half by two and a half inch strips. Now, of course I say your strip, that's if your strip is, you know, approximately 44 inches wide. When you've cut your five, this is the only bit I had left of my strip. So be careful when you're cutting off your selvage that you're frugal. I folded it in half. I cut it twice and then opened the end one, made sure it can cut this little piece off to make this one eight and a half. So that's how I got five out of one strip. So we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna sew a post to each square. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Here's a square and here's a post. So you're going to sew a post to the side and you're going to press it toward the sashing. This is the sashing post. So you're going to press toward the sash. The next step is now because I cut a lot of the value die with my fabrics, I have a whole bunch of two and a half inch squares. Now, if you want to cut a strip from one of your colors and cut all the same, cut two and a half inch squares. If you want to um, vary them like I did, then cut one or two off of each. But of these, we're going to need, let me see, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, 12. We're going to need 12 because we need two for each block that we're doing and then two on the end. So we'll need 12 squares, two and a half inch squares. So on the next strip you're gonna do, I want you to sew one square to the end and press it to the sashing post. What that will do is this is pressed to the sash and this is pressed to the sash. So when you sew them together, those seams will nest really nicely right there. So, um, you'll see that and I'll stick a little pressing video. Okay, so I'm laying them down with the corner post side down, sashing side up, and you'll see why in just a second. I'm just going to lay them all down here at the same time. And that yellow one was bright. And I'm going to give them a spritz of my sewing water. Press it to soften the threads and then just roll this up so I keep the seam going in the direction of the sashing strip. Okay, let's go sew them on. The next one is to do the exact same thing. So you could just as well when you sat down done 10 of these because we want two of this particular combination for each block. So, okay, the next one, we've sewn it 
to the square. We're going to pretend. Okay, so that's sewn. Press to the sash, press to the sash. We're going to sew this together. So then these will nest because they're both pressed to the sash. Sash, yeah. <laughs> so you want to have five of these. So you can pause this now and do your five. And then what you'll have is what I'm going to put up now. The strip of stars, the row of stars without an end piece. Because we have these three and we're going to stitch them together with all five in a row. Next, you want to finish off the very end. So you need a post with a square on each end. That's just for demonstration purposes. Put the green opposite the green. And then this one will be sewn there on the very end of your row and it will finish it off. So then you will have your completely sashed row of stars. So let's get to it. Next week, we're gonna start the applique. We're gonna cut out stars and use our, our back pieces that we've cut that are white, or I'm using white because white is my background color. So whatever your background color is, we are going to put those on and sew that together and do a little bit of um, raw edge applique for for the top for above the stars. So that's going to be our lesson for next week. So what you'll need for that is your is your squares, four and a half inch squares, and some some Stima seam two is what I use. You can use a wonder under heat and bond. Heat and bond light would be fine because we're going to be sewing them on also. But I really like um, using this because it comes in the, not on a roll and not just by the yard, but I really like it. Okay, so get to sashing those stars and I will see you next week. Bye.